might be making a mistake. I think I might be making a mistake. Oh, what a disaster. What a mess. So let's clean it. Here's kind of a tour, I suppose, if that's what we're doing now. Uh, over here is kind of the first part, I guess. Under the staircase, it's a bunch of wood. Um, I haven't put, figured out a place for this, or like this bucket, but like wood, a vacuum cleaner, because that's where it lives, believe it or not. This is the IT rack, <laughs> the network stack for the house. Uh, I run Ubiquity stuff, but I have this uh, access point running for my security cameras on a separate LAN or VLAN and all that junk. Uh, some computer Linux computers and a Windows 7 computer just sitting there doing literally nothing. I have a few tubes of sand in the back there. I don't. I think the previous owners had problems with flooding. I have multiple power outlets plugged into one uh, through an extension cord even because my basement is wired in a in an awful way. And then here is like a bunch of radio related junk. I've had this cabinet for like years and years. IC 7300 sits here, unconnected to anything because lightning is scary. Um, but I did have a Raspberry Pi sitting here a while ago doing some uh, RF monitoring a while ago. Um, so, ooh, man, I forgot one thing. I can't, why, how could I have forgotten? Wait, where's the, where's the plug? Ah, uh, yes, the underglow, you have to have that. Anyway, continuing on, under storage stuff is stored under storage stuff. Soldering equipment, some ratchet straps, PPE, tools, electric parts, glue, wire, bungees, rope, uh, wire and coax, radio, peripherals, like weird 900 megahertz stuff I haven't ever had. Power tools are under there, battery chargers, extension cords, this little like multi-tool kit set thing, junk, some scooter chargers from when I charge scooters, but I don't do that anymore. There's a Satnog system in there, or no, maybe that's a Satnog system and the scooter chargers are right there. And then on the top, um, I just have a lot of space. Everything's kind of shoved to the back. This has got all of the like, toroids and little wires and doohickeys and connectors and RTL SDRs. Some more junk. Uh, and yeah, some stuff there. Peg board has... I don't know. <laughs> it has tools. There's some tools. This thing I wanted for Christmas, but I never use it. Like, it just has too much stuff going on and I already lost some things. So technically I did use it and I immediately lost the bits, but that might actually, this might be one of them. Yes, that, that lives there. Oh, and this is the other, okay. I didn't lose any bits, it's fine. Uh, I have fire and I have air and I have the only essential oil that matters. WD-40. And um, just, just some other stuff. Some precision toolkits, some nails go up there for some reason, tape and basically everything I need for doing work. And then over here I have the soldering station, some battery chargers, uh, a cheap angle grinder from Harbor Freight, a uh, even cheaper pancake thingamajigger that puts out air, the air compressor, that's the word, uh, from also from Harbor Freight. Uh, and uh, my dad will love this, but I've been using his uh, vice script that he made in college back in 1980. So thanks for that, Dad. Still working like a charm. Uh, my grandparents probably hate me for using it because it was one of their chairs. Like, oh, our son made this, and they had it up on this this mantle thing. And and then one day I took it and and I well, you know, I put it to good use and it works great. I should make stuff like that. And then got some batteries over here. Loads of batteries. My friend gave me a bunch of these batteries because of his failed startup, so it was fun. And then this battery needs to get recycled at some point. 
it's getting really low. And then the rest of the basement is house stuff and old furniture and, and things. So, and then your fridge over there, which is currently not cold enough because I think the plenum between the two is uh, is frozen or there's condensation or, or some junk. So I'm letting it melt and then I'm gonna do the thing. So here's where I need your help. Uh, I have terrible organization skills. I mean, the organization is not bad. I've got like, cat, draw, these things, um, containers with nice labels on them and bigger containers and some other containers and, and in these drawers and, but like, there's just junk in them. Like, I mean, I know where everything is because I have a mental encyclopedia of where things and junk lies, but like, you know, it could look nicer. Now, the question I have to you guys, the, the YouTube watchers out there, is how do you organize your workbench or your ham shack or your workshop or whatever you have? Uh, is it pretty and, 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 and not just functional, but also has a, an aesthetic to it that's just not basement workshop? Or is it just basement workshop, like pegboards and junk everywhere and, you know, things hanging from the walls and, and stuff like that? Do you put, like, any aesthetic effort into it? Because one of the things I've realized when I became an adult <laughs> and grew up and got big and old is that I actually have a lot of appreciation for things that look good. And if my wife hears this, she'll probably, like, her jaw will drop. But, like, you've seen the office behind me. Uh, where I record my live streams and videos and stuff, it's that was all totally done by her, and it's beautiful. Like, it's pretty brilliant. Um, and, of course, she would probably do the same thing down here, but then everything is, like, is it too organized? Am I overthinking this? I don't know. Um, talk to me in the comments and, and help me figure out what I should do with this, this well, somewhat organized junk pile. Also, if, if you want to come over and, and just do it for me uh, with a mask and whatever, I've got, you know, you can have any, any of this stuff. Except for, like, the, those bottles right there. Those are, those are for later. But, you know, make yourself at home. Alright, thanks. Bye.